Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now with me is Superior Livestock Representative, Cade Kinghorn. Cade, you're no stranger to the livestock and rodeo industries. You came in with Superior under Tony Schiffer. You've had a great experience thus far. You have cattle on today and tomorrow, and you put them on other sales, like you were telling me. But let's talk about kind of how you got involved in Superior Livestock, how Tony talked into becoming a Superior rep. Well, I guess I've worked off and on for Tony for several years since I was a little kid. And uh, when I graduated college, I needed a job and I showed up and he asked me if I wanted to do it and we're here. <laughs> and here we are. That's usually how it works. Huh? Once you're done with college, you're like, I need a job. And this kind of just fell in your lap and it probably is a great opportunity. It's a great business to be a part of. So talk about the different kind of cattle that you do rep for people and the different kind of country they run on. You know, uh, we usually sell calves. Uh, Sheridan's always our biggest sale. Um, there's not very many more yearlings in our country anymore, so uh, mostly calves on the cows. And what kind of customer relationships have you built by being a part of this and becoming a superior rep? Uh, that's kind of a cool part of the job. You know, when uh, you start putting people on, they become your friends just because you're involved with them so much. And uh, it's their yearly paycheck, so you feel passion to do a good job for them, and uh, I love it. I know you always want to get top dollar for them. When I see you here in the auction room, you're running around, you're on the phone, you're talking to your customers. It is busy and it's high intensity in here. But Tony really does kind of mentor you along the way. Has he done that over the years and helping you in this process? Yes, ma'am. I've, I've learned everything from Tony. Uh, like I said, I've worked for him for a long time and we became great friends as well. Well, switching gears a little bit, I know you might not want to talk about this, but you are involved in the Rodeo Association. Talk a little bit about that and all the runs you make over the year. Uh, you know, I probably go to 30 rodeos a year, uh, a lot less than I used to. Uh, I basically got this job to <laughs> afford my rodeo habit. <laughs> But uh, I'm up in the slack in Rapid City in the morning, so hopefully we have a good sale today and show up there tomorrow. Talk about the connections that you make between the livestock industry and the rodeo industry. It's kind of the same kind of people, good people, country people, and they're all in it for the right reasons. Yes, ma'am. I've actually gained customers from just rodeoing, and, uh, you know, hopefully I get some more. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for being on. I want to wish you and your customers the best of luck in selling today. And when we come back, a special guest, stay with us.